I went to medical school late in life at 40 years old. I had been a paramedic uh, for Detroit Fire and then took the MCAT, went to Wayne State University for medical school, trained at Henry Ford uh, Hospital, and then came to Wyandotte in 2003. Well, he wears many, many, many hats. So that culminates in a lot of different fashions. He speaks with authority, but his authority is coupled with a gentleness and a kindness and a connectiveness that brings you in and then it all supports the purpose. And the big purpose is, of course, excellent patient care and patient safety. What I've always admired about him is that he has the great ability of getting people to work together as a team. There's no man as dedicated to his profession as an ER physician, to his patients, to this community as a whole. I was a teacher also before I was a medic. So one of the things I do is I teach the residents. And I think one of the things I tell the residents, remember the day that they come into the emergency department, you're their doctor. You need to be the person that's gonna take care of them because for that day, they chose you. Nobody ever planned to come in the emergency department, but you're it. And then my other principle is treat patients like their family. If you treat them like your family, you'll never go wrong in trying to decide what should you do. I was the chair and medical director of the department for a number of years, taking our department from a community hospital into a emergency medicine program, trauma center, stroke center. My father was our inspiration for all of us, as in you are blessed to have the talent that you have, and so it's important that you do something with that and not merely go to work. And he's taught all of us that you have to get back to the community. And one way to get back to the community is to do these kind of things, volunteer to do the extra stuff, spend the extra time. I have a lot of passion for my work. If you have a passion for life, follow your passion, do the best thing that you could do each and every day you go to work. Tom is the ultimate waiter. I think that he has highly deserved this, and I'm proud of him. Tom, congratulations on an award overdue. Thanks, Tom. It's always about the patient. It's not about me. It's not about the hospital. It's about the patient.